and welcome to the Geeks 31 Days of Horror for Halloween. This is Alil. And this is Steve. And I messed this damn intro up so many times. This 31 Days has been shit. I keep it's, it's messing going on two weeks up. now. <laughs> I know. I keep messing things up. Uh, we'll, get there, buddy. we'll get there. Yeah, tonight we're reviewing a, a newer movie called The Jester from 2023. So, I mean, we haven't been playing our rating system. Hopefully, you guys know the rating system. Zero to Hero. So, we'll go with the plot because Sean's not here to play the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and when Sean's not here, this is where we save some of our runtime. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> save exactly. some of our bandwidth. So, the, the Jester is about a malevolent being known as the Jester who terrorizes the inhabitants of a small town on Halloween night, including two estranged sisters who must come together to find a way to defeat the evil entity doesn't really star anybody that I don't think anybody knows. I think it's a couple of character actors that have been in a, a few things. Um, but, uh, but this is also a short film series that was on YouTube. I did watch the film series. I'll talk about it after our review and everything, just a, just a little bit. Um, but Steve, what did you think of the gesture? I picked this one off the, you know, off the cuff. I was just looking at like newer horror, just trying to figure something out to, to, to fill in the gaps, um, what'd you think? Sidekick bordering on low sidekick. Um, it's not a zero because, and here's why it's not because I think the people that were acting in it actually did a pretty good job for this being a low budget movie. Everybody was really trying, and there were some scenes where I'm like, damn, you're really going for it. Like, you're crying and shit. Like, you're, and it's not like because you're scared, like, you're talking about your family, and <laughs> you know, it's like you're. You're really going for it. So uh, I'll give it that. Um, I disliked the Jester immensely, the character of the Jester. I thought he looked bad. It was a bad mask. Um, nothing about it was really explained. I'm kind of going off of like my own ideas about what it all meant. Um, yeah. And I might be wrong about it. But uh, it felt like a bad knockoff of Terrifier. Uh a very bad knockoff. It's like they saw Terrifier and they're like, we want to do that too, but like less. And that's what it felt like. Like I the miming, the, the fucking, yeah. you know, the supernatural aspect, but they just, they didn't go, they didn't get it with the gore. There was no real good kills. Um, they, I mean, they were mostly on screen, but there was nothing really to write home about. And it just kind of ends. <laughs> just kind of ends. And so there I'm at, I'm at, right? I'm teetering, man. We'll see where you're at because we, you may sway me one way or the other, but uh, I'm, I'm right there at the bottom of the barrel sidekick. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I think I'm leaning toward mo more of a low sidekick. I was quite disappointed. I don't like, see, it, it, it's hard because like I love slashers Friday the 13th, you know, they're supernatural, right? In its sense, but I don't like supernatural killing, right? And that's what this movie was. The Jester didn't get his hands dirty, and I don't like that. Um, I think the thing is, too, is it did feel like a copy, but I don't know if it was a copy because this came out, the the the, the uh, short films came out, I think, in 2014, 2016. Okay. Well, in, in a similar time frame, I don't, you know, Tire Fire, came, the first one came it out with... 2019 2020 i can't remember from not not seeing any of the web shorts that's what this felt like yeah I mean, and, and, like, and maybe terrifier ripped it off i don't know but. no no because all hallows eve came out oh yeah all right, came out, like 2012 or something yeah but 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 all hallows eve also didn't have like a lot of you know him he kind of was like that kind of cut face but i mean you're right i mean everybody knocks off everybody everybody steals little ideas and things but my disappointment in this is is the the explanation or or lack thereof of what was going on. So I had to, like you said, I had to build my own story in here, and I'm like, oh okay. Um, I, I, we'll go. We'll get into it in spoilers. I think I know. What I'm spoilers. Spoilers. Oh, Steve, you, 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 right. I was getting ready to hit the button. He said spoilers, and I was like, damn it, Steve, I wanted to scare you. Um, <laughs> almost had, but it. I, I think it's kind of like that pent up trauma, 
you know, and that's what the gesture brings out. That's what I was thinking it. But then I'm thinking to myself, like, how how is he killing these cops? How is he doing this? Like, how do yeah, that's where I came up with it? Because at the end, she does this whole little speech with her dad. And like, so the whole movie is like, I guess, predicated on this dad that left his family and started another family and his daughters are super pissed about it. And like, they don't talk to each other. And then he dies. And then they're just like grieving. And then they get over it. And then the movie's over. And in the midst of all that, in the midst of all that, there's this gesture in an orange suit running around killing people. But like, it's all kind of centered around these two sisters. And what what I took away from it at the end, when she's when the main character is talking to her dad's grave, is that when she's like, "Whatever your disease was, I have it too." And then the gesture was there. I was like, "Oh, you are a killer. You're mm-hmm. a killer." Your dad was a killer, so the news the beginning was probably he, he killed himself. We're just seeing the gesture as manifestation of like his own things. But then I'm like, but that doesn't really make sense because she walked in the place covered in the gesture's blood, and the guy totally reacted to that. So that was somebody's blood. And then the cops and the shop owner all reacted to the gesture. Right. It wasn't to her. They were in the same room, so it, it almost felt like it wanted its to have its cake and eat it too like it, it wanted to do the cool things like a mom like the actual killer was there but then it wanted to have this twist at the end like it was actually her the whole time but logistically that doesn't make sense <laughs> and it wasn't her the whole time right like if at the end we saw her like and we she was across town when the right. people were getting killed at that hellfest thing yeah exactly and that's i think that's the thing that that pissed me off and that's why i'm at the low sidekick because the story didn't make sense you could have gone there with this trauma and then how she's acting. And then, I mean, and then she's, she's she stabbed her, her sister. So, yeah, well, she did. She stabbed and then her sister woke, at the end. Woke up and woke up and, you know. But she still delusion. stabbed her. Yeah. So then that's she was why, alive uh, at the end, but who... Then she didn't stab her or she did stab her? She did stab her, but she survived the stabbing. That, I don't know, man. That was a gut shot and that was a big-ass knife. I agree, but she was hanging out with... She was... Yeah. You know, Blood at all. She died a lack of loss of blood at least. <laughs> like it's coming out of her mouth. It was all over the place. <laughs> maybe maybe got taped. I mean, you know, they were way out there too. Like an ambulance. They got to make a phone call. She was holding her for a while. Like that's a stabbing, not a gunshot. They got to make a call. That got to get the dispatch. I got to send somebody out. <laughs> I get it, but it, but it, but they made they left it as that she was visiting. That's why she was back there. That's why she called her mom. She's visiting her sister. It, this didn't happen right away. Like the the ending. Was, oh no, like I get I get that. Right? I get that. But yeah, I but, agree with you. Again, it's it's all cheating, and that's and what like, I don't like. What did he do? All like cheating. what? And then like they're like, oh, what did he do? I'm like, what did the dad do? It had to be really bad, right? And they're like, he left us and had a new family. And like that's it. And I'm not saying that that's not no 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 no. no. <laughs> in a world of terrible shit that people do that is not barely on the list <laughs> like right. that is world like world i get it world. like but like guess what that that happened here too and it <laughs> i'm not running around trying to kill people <laughs> so i'm just saying manifesting like, some, yeah, kind of some kind of gesture yeah although you know who knows i'm getting older let's see early onset dementia sets in Start freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we get the dad's kill, That's which is, which is <laughs> you know, he 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 supposedly <laughs> hangs himself, but the gesture does it, and it's like okay, you know, like that's fine, and that's where the whole movie's based on, and then like nothing really happens, right? Like the gesture shows up, and like nothing's really happening. We get the sisters having their talk at the bar. <laughs> You know, one's trying to connect the one who had the dad. The one that is not even, you know, nobody under you. I still don't even understand really her motivation for being there, seeing this, you know, outside of that. She was the last one to talk to him before he killed himself in her mind. So, you know, some way to you, I mean, some way to pay her the respects or something. Kind of. She kind of talked to him. Well, right. She blew him off. So maybe she felt guilty about that. But then again, you hate him so much. Why are you feeling guilty? And, um, you know, and then, and then, you know, there's an okay scene where at this Halloween party thing and (laughs) we're forgetting where he killed the grave guys. Like that was a scene that didn't even involve the girls, but like, and that's what I said. That's what I said. Like it's you're, you're doing a scene where you're killing two grave diggers in a graveyard, right? Possibilities are endless. You can do all kinds of cool shit. 
all the gears out, all their weird machineries out where they lower in the shit. You could do all kinds of cool shit here. And what does he do? He ties one of their shoes together magically and he trips and hits his head. And the other one, he makes choke on an apple. Yeah. Or not even choke on an apple. The apple protrudes out of his body, which makes no sense. Again, again, and that's where I was confused because I'm like, so we have the tie, the shoes, tripping and sm- so like, oh, he's he's killing people, making it look like accidents. But then the apple, that was the second one. And then also when well, the apple came out, I'm like, well, how the hell does that happen? And I'm thinking in my head or at this point, like, okay, it's some sort of like weird, like Loki style demon, right? Like he's mischievous. Yeah, and like he yeah. made a deal with the dad and the dad couldn't get the daughter to forgive him. And so now the deal with the dad was done and now he's got to go get the daughters. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Like, okay, it's like this family line fucking it's a curse. It's a family entity curse, kind of thing. curse yeah. thing. Yeah. And they're going to have to find a way to get a book or something and fucking say some incantation, get rid of the gesture. No, no, none like that. No. And it actually never even touched on what it is. No. It's just there. And she, she kind of makes that comment at the end. It's, it's my, my problem now. And you see him with her and, she, you know, kind of recognizes the gesture with her and just lives with it. And I'm like, okay, I'm disappointed. So now, I, like, so the gesture is an entity that's like tied to her that's just going to kill people something. all the time. And I don't know. So is that why he left his family? Is because the entity was tied to him? They don't tell you that. And then he said, like, he actually said that he had a family when he didn't. So that like his family wouldn't come looking for him. I think the entity is tied for some kind of grief because maybe the gesture didn't show up until he actually started feeling grief for doing what he did to his family, right? Like I, need, then, I needed more. I needed more explanation. I, more I, more direction to go in because it can go in too many different directions at this point. I agree. That's why it's a, it's a, why it's a low sidekick. Low sidekick. I mean, it has been made. What I what I enjoyed, the only scene I enjoyed was the scene in the little like bodega or whatever kind of shop it was because it was very different bizarre like you know when you know they're they're actually they're they don't believe her the cops and then all of a sudden he does show up and they're like what the hell and like the cops just don't know what to do and then like the you like the one you just kind of loses his head you know like the head is gone and i was yeah. like that's kind of funny it's um, good stuff and that actually graphically was pretty good yeah, that, I like I like, the, I like the shop guy just ran out of there and just booked it, and we don't even see anything. Like he, he we don't know what happened to him. He just got the hell out of there. Uh, like, he good. lived, and you know what? Good, he should have because he got out of there when she was like, "Oh, okay, I'm out." <laughs> so, Good stuff. Yeah, no, I, it's not without its merits. It doesn't get a zero. It's not without its merits. But I no, needed I, that. This could have been a high sidekick close to a hero had the story. Made yeah. a little more sense, tied together a little. You could have gone super I need yeah, some rules. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Go the supernatural route. Lay the rules. The entity is tied. The gestured entity is tied to the daughter or the daughters. Both daughters, right? And they're both grieving in different ways. One's grieving because she loved her father, and the father was good. So the, that the gesture follows her whenever the grief hits her. The other daughter is more not grief sticking, but she's got anger and hate in her soul because of the father. So every time she feels that he pops out and then that's, what's causing this kind of rift. And then they have to, they have to either reconcile each other or something. Yeah. Some yeah. kind of reconciliation or something happens. They got to do something. You know what? I can live with that then, but they didn't do that. <laughs> they didn't do that. <laughs> they smile at each other in the movie. And, and so I'll go to so the YouTube on YouTube. If you look it up, it has three shorts. And you can watch all three together in like a 30 minute segment. And I did that because I was just curious where this started from. And really, it's very similar to this outside of just the gesture just showing up randomly and uh, terrorizing people. Like it's like this guy and girl, and the girl's loving it. And so he's just really like beating down this guy and doing the, t- the tie the shoe gag thing and all this other stuff again. This other bizarre one is he takes his little girl trick or treating, the gesture, and then like because one guy didn't want to give candy, he tortures him and everything, and the girl runs away. And then like I can't I can't remember how the other one. Oh, the, then there was another one with the with the guy who was working on Halloween night, and he, the gesture was upset that he was working on Halloween night. Similar mask, except the mask was just like the old school kind of one with the like the rubber band around the back so you could actually see a human 
hair and everything like that, right? Mm. Like this one, at least they covered that up to make it look like a full kind of helmet mask. Yeah, but the uh, I didn't like the eyes. It was just like it looked. No, cheap. I agree. It, I, I'm not like, saying it was better. I was, I, you know, what I was expecting. It looked cheap enough that I was expecting at some point that thing to come off and have like a really cool, evil like gory face, face yeah. under there or something. But yeah, we didn't get that either. No. <clears throat> the, the YouTube shorts are fine. Again, I get it. They were they were uh, indie little shorts that somebody made and trying to test this concept. Great. Again, you know hey, what? more power to the guy. Better, better than us. Make, yeah. yeah, hands down. More credit. Credit where credit's due. But we have to rate. We have to review this on a scale with other things that we watch, and it's this is where it's at. Yeah, Low so it's not, not the worst thing. But if you got time to kill, it's not the worst. Maybe, Maybe you'll find yeah. something something to enjoy. So, all right. Well, that's it for this review. Thank you for listening. This is Lil, and this is Steve. And until tomorrow night, everybody, keep it creepy. Recording. Yeah, do that. Okay, recording one second. Okay, and I will start the intro. Three, two, one. Ah! I hit the wrong fucking button. Ah!